over the last month, I've aped into multiple extremely risky crypto schemes, some of them turning out to be rugs, some of them producing some steady cash flow for my wallet. Today, I'm going to be going over the projects I'm currently invested in, where they're currently at. We're going to claim some profits together, and I'll go over how much they've made me in the Excel breakdown. Now, before we get into my passive income plays, I need to tell you a story. Let's say there are two investors, Bob and Tim, both looking to diversify their investment portfolio with an extremely risky section. Now they've both only allotted a small percentage of the overall portfolio to these experiments, something they can both afford to lose. Now this is standard practice, but here is where the two investors start to take extremely different paths. Bob, who grew up watching Shark Tank on TV, understands that investing in startups, it's best to spread your allotted cash into many companies. He knew that most startups fail within the first three years, so spreading it out between many companies would statistically produce a winner. Now Tim, on the other hand, has been spending a ton of time on crypto Twitter and might not be able to differentiate what is and is not a too good to be true scenario. He finds a couple people claiming to make outlandish returns and without thinking clearly, he apes more than his allotted cash into one single play. Now I think we can both agree who will make it out better in the long term in this situation. Now Tim may have more of an upside if that one company is the winner, but this is a far riskier play. So with that lesson, I personally tried to spread this cash into many companies because it's impossible to predict who will succeed and who will fail in this market. So with that being said, let's get into some of my losing plays before we get into the winning plays that are currently cash flowing my wallet. As a brief disclaimer, this is not financial advice. Please go out and do your own research, your own due diligence before diving into any type of investment. This is merely my experience in the market. All right, let's first start with yield nodes. Now I did feel this was safe. I heard it first from James Pelton after an audit completed in Malta. He does know the founders and has them on his channel quite often. Now there has been a serious shaking to this company and you can find a ton of people talking about it. So I'm not going to spend too much time talking about yield nose. There's a ton of information, what the, has happened, where they're currently going to go. So we may or may not see the money we deposited into yield nodes until approximately 2023, 2024. Uh, and so as we can see here, I think I was in it for approximately one month, earned 1.3% of my money, as we can see here, but now I can't withdraw it. Now I did get a bunch of comments saying, why are you only investing $500? You should be investing way more. Now this is for a couple reasons. I do try to spread this out because I am doing 10 plus of these projects potentially per month. And the other reason is that the average investor can't drop thousands and thousands of dollars. So I do wanna start with lower portfolios and try to grow them with you guys. So currently I am not expecting much from this company. I will keep an eye on the money inside because 500 euros is still 500 euros, but we'll keep a close eye on what's to come and if I will ever see that money back. Now the next one on my list is Stable Fund. I never created a video on this platform, but it was boasting a 1.5% per day staking. So of course, I also had to try it in the background first and foremost to see if it did work. Now it was working for the most part, as we can see here, I deposited just under 500 US dollars and my claimable rewards are currently here. But as of this morning, I'm not able to withdraw any of this money. They're also having withdraw issues. So currently not sure where this money is going to go. It was working for me for at least a few weeks, but if I'm not able to withdraw any of my investment, I am not a fan. Now, as we can see here, you're able to typically withdraw it after 30 days. So I could have withdrawn my initial. I did start compounding to get it up closer to 500 US dollars to create five, at least $5 US per day. We did get to there, but as we can see here, because of all the panic, the team has made the decision to st shut down the staking contracts. So it says they'll start refunding people on the 31st of October and they're getting all their data to start these refunds 
we will see if this works or not. Now, moving along, I never invested in Freeway, but I do want to give you guys a disclaimer. It came out as I am filming this today. The crypto staking platform Freeway halts withdrawals as well, basically plummeting the stock price as we can see here. Token is down roughly 80% in the hours after this announcement. Now, they did claim it had 160 million in total value. All right, so next on my list that has been working currently is Horde. All right, so next down my portfolio is Horde. It is currently still working. The price has stayed at approximately $100 and it is returning me. But there is a huge but. The company came out with a huge change in some of these rewards. So as we can see on the website here, the mutation is active if we want to learn more here. But if you claim anything, it will become mutated. Now mutated plots only earn 0.5% daily until the full reward is given, not that 1%. So this is irreversible and you cannot change this after you do withdraw some of your money. Now, although I do like this 1% per Per day I am going to make a claim today because of what we've seen previously in this video it is always always a good idea to take profit or at least take some of your initial investment back so in the case of a complete shutdown you didn't lose all of this initial so today we are going to change this we are going to mutate my current plots and claim all 1.74 of this hoard. Going to go through the process of claiming it to my MetaMask wallet. We will give it a second to process. Now down below in my wallet, we can see that we have the hoard token, which I will swap for BNB and turn that into some cash. Now the next token or project on my list is the drip network that continues to produce daily as well for me. Now the project has continued to slowly tank, slowly go down, but there is still some drip reward inside my account here. So I've currently deposited just under a hundred drip, which is worth just under 500 USDT, but available, I have 27 to claim. Now, instead of recompounding, I haven't claimed much as we can see here compared to what I've deposited. So I do want to recoup some of that money. And so we are going to claim back some of this drip. The claim is successful. And now we do see the drip inside my wallet right there. I'll take the drip to the swap inside the website here and cash that in for stablecoin as well. Now, the last one on my list before we get into my spreadsheet here is optimus.money. I haven't made a video on this one until Till now but it is extremely risky as well it's found in some of the depths the cracks of the dgen world but we have deposited approximately a hundred and seventy tokens but they auto compound inside your wallet so right now there are 253 OPT three tokens inside my wallet worth approximately 387 US dollars which earns me three point eight seven us dollars per day and approximately 88 of them per month now you can check on the contract as well as it is on dex screener now they do have an auto buyback bot which has decided to keep it inside this trading zone which is great to see now there has been looks like a bunch of cells but it was bought back up to the dollar 50 mark now just by holding it in my wallet i will increase a daily interest of 1% per day and we will get that directly to the wallet by just sitting there and auto compounding. Since I've taken profit on some of my other projects, I am going to leave this one inside until it gets to that $500 mark. All right, so let's take a look at the actual inside of the Excel spreadsheet I've brought out of some of my investments I've made over the last few months. And of course, what has been made in the last month specifically, these ones here. I did also purchase a 3090 Ti to do some mining. I do believe it's a scary time to mine right now, which is the perfect time to be acquiring the coins. I do believe we'll take off next bull run. So let's go over this together here. As we can see, 
Tencent ICOs. These have been a perfect way to earn passive income for me over the last few months. I've invested in some of their launch pads and it has been quite profitable for me. Total investment of approximately $18,000 has yielded me almost 70. Now you can see a lot of my other videos on that on my channel. So make sure to go and check those out. So down below here, we have Hoard. My strategy here, of course, with every passive income play is to approximately take out 50% as profit, compound the other 50% so you can also continue to grow that. Here are some of my investments in each of these. And as we can see, stable fund here will actually have to be taken off the monthly income because we aren't able to take out any money. So that will change that a bit, but we will keep an eye on that. The majority of my monthly income has came through these 10 set ICOs that I continue to average out. But in terms of hoard, we did see me take a bit more profit that is on the sheet here, but with the percentages beside that. Down below, we have some of the failing contracts, the failing projects I have invested in. Now, some of them have been profitable for me, like Strong Block, because I was early enough, but some of them were not, like Yield Nodes, as we haven't even taken any profit, and it is currently not sure where or if we will get that money back. Now, I've averaged out in some of my other positions in Titano and Wii U. Now, of course, we can see all of this here, the majority coming from Tencent, but over the last 30 days, approximately making $4,000 in this passive income from some of these investments. Now, if you guys are interested in this investment journey, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Until next time, guys, take care.